Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitches available for the 1981 Ford F100, 150, 250, and 350. Now all of our hitches are rated for class 5 use, but you will want to keep in mind they're all going to offer the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube openings so there's no need for an adapter. Now for your normal bumpers or for the standard step bumpers, for the curtain it's going to be part number C15300. The draw tight will be part number 41904 and the B&W will be part number BWHDRH25122. Now in some of those trucks, they did have a very deep drop style bumper. They would start narrower at the edge and kind of get thicker as they got towards the middle. If you do have that style of bumper, there is an availability from Kurt that's gonna work out great for you. That part number is C15511. There is not an option from draw tight in the class five version and B&W does have a version available for that deep drop bumper. That part number is BWHDRH25198. And I think the most important thing we'll want to compare with our hitches and helping you decide which is gonna be the right for you is definitely gonna be weight capacities. If you're looking at a class five hitch, you've got a heavy duty trailer and you need to tow it. So let's start with our Kurt. This is gonna give us a 2,400 pound tongue weight rating. That would be the maximum downward force we can put at our receiver tube opening. And it gives us a 16,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. It's gonna be the total weight of your trailer and then anything that you were to load up on it. Moving to the draw type, it's gonna have a 1,000 pound tongue weight rating and a 10,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. And the B&W, 1,600 pounds for the tongue weight rating and 16,000 pounds for the gross trailer weight rating. Now, if you're dealing with trailers that size, weight distribution is probably going to be something that you'll want to look at as well. For the Kurt, it's going to keep the same 2,400 pound tongue weight rating, but the gross trailer weight rating will go up to 17,000 pounds when using weight distribution. The draw tight goes up to 1,200 pounds for the tongue weight rating and 12,000 pounds for the gross trailer weight rating. And our B&W is going to stay the same at 1,600 pounds worth of tongue weight and 16,000 pounds on our trailer. Of course, you will want to check the owner's manual of your truck to see what its tow rating is and use whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now, another factor you may find important is going to be the finish on each of the hitches that we have. You see, the B&W is going to have what I feel is the nicest finish on it. It's a really nice, high gloss finish. It gives us more of the original kind of look that the trucks had when they came out. If we move up to the draw type. This is gonna be more of your standard kind of a powder coat finish, not too much gloss, not too like matte finishy or anything like that, just more of a standard powder coat. And then when we look at our Kurt Extra Duty, this one's gonna have a really nice matte finish to it. A lot of vehicles have kind of been changing over to this style of paint and the matte look, so that might be a really nice look to go with that. Now when dealing with big trailer safety chain connection points can also be somewhat of an issue. It's gonna have a slightly angled safety chain connection point, and even with the really big clevis hooks that you might use, you'll see there's plenty of room there for those to connect easily and swing freely. The smaller safety chains are also gonna go on there without any kind of issue, but they're not gonna hang straight down. Once we move up to our draw type, you see the smaller chains are gonna have a hard time connecting to that just because of the width that we have there. And when we look at our larger chains, they are gonna fit in there. They have some freedom to move, but they won't rotate. So there's just enough room to get that one connected. And then when we move up to our Kurt, they're gonna switch back to those larger, more open style connectors. You see that's gonna give us plenty of room for those to move freely there. And then with our smaller type hook, as you can see again, not really gonna hang down just because of the width that we've got there. Now all of our hitches to secure our items are gonna use a 5 8 diameter pinhole. You wanna be sure whatever pin, clip, anti-rattle device or locking hitch pin you choose is rated for class five use. There will be plenty of room on all of our hitches for using those items. I don't think you're gonna run into any interference there at all. There's gonna be one exception in the holes on the draw tight. You'll see there's a second smaller hole that would be located closer to the rear of the vehicle. The only time that will be used is with the J-Pin stabilization system. Now one thing I like about the B&W hitch is gonna be the welded on bracket. You can see right there in the black. They're gonna provide you with the hardware and also the mounting tab here for your wiring, whether you're using like a factory turn-in style 
or a bolt-in style. It's going to line up nicely and allow you to have your bracket back there, to have your wiring back there on a corrosion-resistant bracket. Now the installation on all of our hitches are going to be pretty straightforward. You'll find the area to raise your hitch up underneath your frame. You're going to mark your hole locations and then you'll want to get those drilled out. Now each one of them are going to require the same amount of drilling, so there's not really an easier one to install. Now let's do a quick summary to hit those important points. As far as the towing capabilities of the hitch, I'm going to give the edge to the B&W here simply because the safety chain connection points are a little easier to use and we're going to have the included wiring bracket which if we're hauling a trailer we're going to need wiring. Now when it comes to the tongue weight rating the Kurt's going to be the victor there. It offers 2400 pounds of tongue weight rating versus 1200 with the draw type and 1600 with the B&W. Now when it comes to your gross trailer weight rating the B&W at 16,000 pounds and the Kurt at 16,000 pounds are going to be the highest. However, remember that if you do go into weight distribution, the Kurt will go up to 17,000. Now, when it comes to appearances or fit and finish with the hitches, B&W's really taking their time. You can tell the welds are really nice and clean. It's got a really nice gloss finish on it. I like the appearance of this one. However, if you want a matte finish, the Kurt XD is going to be the one you'll go for. Now, if I were going to pick one of these to go on my truck, in all practical applications, I think the B&W is going to be the most useful. However, if you want the matte finish, the Kurt's going to come in a close second. That's going to complete our look at the best hitches available for the Ford F100, 150, 250, and F350. We hope you find this information helpful in selecting which hitch is going to be right for you. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.